Now that you can use PSVR 2 on PC using the PSVR 2 to PC adapter dongle that recently came out, I'm going to show you in this video how to run 3D PS3 games using RPCS3 emulation on your PC so you can play PS3 games in 3D in VR on a PSVR 2 headset. <laughs> because if you're like me and you totally missed out on the 3D PS3 game trend and maybe you already have a VR headset and a pretty powerful PC, this is a really cool way to experience 3D PS3 games. But enough blabbering about it, let's get into it. First things first, make sure you get your PSVR 2 headset and adapter set up. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. But after that, there's two other pieces of software you're gonna need. You're gonna need RPCS3, obviously, that's the PS3 emulator set up on your computer. And then you're gonna need Big Screen Beta, which is a free piece of software on the Steam store, which lets you get your VR headset into a virtual theater or home theater or living room or drive-in theater. There's all sorts of options in that app, but it's free and it has some 3D options. So that's what we're gonna be using. Going back to RPCS3, you're gonna need a 3D PS3 game. So I have MotorStorm Apocalypse and Uncharted 3 to try out. And you're also gonna need a controller that's compatible with RPCS3 besides your VR controllers. So I have a Retro Fighters Defender here, but you could also use a DualSense or a DualShock 4. Those both plug into PC with a wire and work out of the box. So there's a piece of software called PS3 Disk Dumper. So you put your PS3 disc into your Blu-ray drive on your PC that I know you totally have and dump the game out there. So then you'll have your PS3 game that you can play in RPCS3. Once it's loaded, you're gonna wanna make a custom config for each of these games so you can activate 3D side by side. That's, that's what I'm gonna be using in this tutorial. For 3D to work in RPCS3, you have to leave the default resolution at 720p because it's not a super optimized setting in RPCS3 yet. This is super niche. And then I recommend looking up on the RPCS3 website for other optimization settings for each game because this is gonna be quite an intensive process running VR and emulating a PS3 game in 3D at the same time. So you're gonna want as many optimizations as you possibly can get. If it's grayed out, you can delete the config file and then right click the game in RPCS3 and then make sure you hit create config from default. So that'll re-enable the 3D dropdown. Once those config files are done, now we're ready to go into VR, go into the Steam VR menu, open the big screen beta, and then it's gonna put you into a virtual theater room or a virtual living room. To open the settings in this app, hit the R3 button and you can change your environment. I like this fancy home theater setup, but there's also quite a few big theater environments. So basically this app, it shows your desktop on the big theater screen and you can point and navigate your computer from there. So Let's get RPCS3 open on the desktop, open up the game of your choice, put it in full screen. MotorStorm Apocalypse gives you an option to enable 3D at the start of the game, whereas Uncharted 3, the 3D option is in options display. So just make sure you have 3D enabled in the game. And then in the big screen settings, we go to the home tab display and turn on side by side. Another way is opening the personal display and then there's a quick toggle on the side and then you can hit the minimize button. So there's two options there to enable 3D and that'll overlay the side-by-side -side 3D into your headset. And then you'll notice that it's stretched. So grab your controller that you were gonna play RPCS3 with, hit the home button, click video settings, expand image, and that will fix the aspect ratio when it's in 3D view. And now you can play your game. Obviously I didn't mess with resolutions and FPS too much because I just wanted to get it working, but 3D only works when you run at default resolution anyways, but maybe you can get better results with some tweaking. MotorStorm ran quite well, but the resolution looked super low in this game when it's run 3D. And Uncharted 3, the frame rate was struggling a bit, even when it's at 30 FPS. But both of these games that I've tried only have an in-game status at the moment on the RPCS3 database, so they're not working 100% anyways. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial and now you are able to experience 3D PS3 games using your PSVR 2 headset on a PC. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I guess let me know down below what your favorite 3D PS3 game is so people can look up what games to try or what you're looking forward to trying with your PSVR 2 headset.